Yo, yo, what is happening today, lads? We have a side Easter egg tutorial right here today with the yellow snowballs, the upgraded snowballs, which are insta-kill until at least round 40. That's the round I've been up to with them. This Easter egg also involves the pod with the uh, mystery item in the facility, which actually turns out to be Pablo Marinus's spleen, which is another little cool Easter egg. I'm going to be showing... Uh, everything in the gameplay here and how to do it all spawn locations drop a like on the video sub do all that shit if you do enjoy and let's get straight into it so what you're going to notice is around the map there's these wooden planks with four chalk drawings on them uh, one is samantha one is eddie one's a hellhound and one's a magua now these are little sock puppets you can find around the map uh, they each have three spawn locations, going to show them all in the gameplay, and you have to chuck snowballs at them, and once you chuck a snowball at them, they disappear. So the first sock puppet we'll be looking at is Samantha. You'll be over here in the sunken path, which is left to spawn. The first location is going to be next to this boat here and this rock. Uh, the second location is going to be a bit further down. Uh, if you look at the flame, there'll be a rock sticking out. It'll be sitting on that rock right there. And the third and final location for the Samantha Puppet is here, like I got in my game. As you can see, you chuck a snowball at it, and it disappears, and then on to the next one. Now, the second sock puppet is going to be the Hellhound. It's on the boat here. The first location is on the speaker here. Second location, just on the top of that crank there. And the third location is up top. You can get a good view of it. Uh, it's just in this little uh, like vent thing. And you chuck your snowball once again. I missed it there again. And then you'll finally get it. The third sock puppet will be in the lighthouse. This is going to be the Eddie puppet. First location is just there above the stair for level 5. Uh, the second location is going to be down a level here. Just outside this window to the right of it. You'll be able to see, get a good angle there. Just on that little pillar there. And the final location for this puppet will be downstairs on the second level on another pole and I get it there in my game. Chuck a snowball once again and you've got it. The fourth and final puppet will be up at the transfusion facility in the uh, rock room. The first location is just gonna be there in the dark. It's quite hard to see that one. Uh, the second location will be at the top of this uh, machine here sitting on the corner. And the third and final location is just gonna be over here in the light on the shelf. That's where I get it. Chuck your final snowball at it and then all four you will have collected. So now the next step is going to be looking around the map for a blue fireplace, which is actually a soul box. Uh, you can get them spawned at the beach, the frozen crevice, or just outside the boathouse. It doesn't matter which one you get first. You both have to kill 20 zombies around all of them. And once they've got 20 kills, uh, the flame, the blue flame will go out. And that's how you know you've completed. Once you've done all 60 kills, 20 on each fireplace, you'll be on to the next step. As you can see on screen here, I get my final fireplace done and the fireplace goes out. Once you've done that, you want to make your way up to the transfusion facility, uh, to the main area, pretty much the laboratory. And you'll notice the uh, pod that's with the uh, glowing item in it is now got shattered glass around it. You can shoot this, the pod will smash, and you can pick up the item that falls out. Once you pick up this item, Nikolai is going to tell you that you have to hurry, this item is going to heat up, and you have to bring it back to the hermit in time. Now what you're going to want to do is run out there as quick as you can, and uh, run to the left side of the facility where the zip line to the docks is or to spawn. If you land in the cold water, you'll be hearing this metronome going off because you're being timed. If you land in the cold water, the metronome is going to slow down because you'll be um, cooling down the item and then it's going to give you some time to run forward, cool it down in the next puddle and so forth until you get to the lighthouse and you sprint all the way up the stairs and then hand it to the hermit just in time. If you need to, as you can see in the gameplay, I stop in between puddle, uh, puddles to slow my timer down all the way and cool the item. So there's not really a rush to doing this, honestly, until you get to the lighthouse and you're not in the water anymore, then you do have to sprint all the way up. I'm going to speed the gameplay up here just to show it uh, quicker getting up to the top of the lighthouse. Um, as once you are at the top, he will drop down his normal uh, barrier. You can place the item and he will lift it back up and then once it comes down, it will be revealed the yellow snowballs. Now these snowballs are insta-kill to about round 40 and they're super OP. 
Um, and it's funny because there's a little bit of backstory to this. The item that you end up giving the hermit is actually the spleen, which is another hit that we know prior to the Easter egg that this is Pablo Marinus. Which is, of course, a callback to the Black Ops 1 radios, where we know Ultimus Richtofen rips out the Mexican test subject Spleen, which is actually Pablo Marinus. Um, which, honestly, is a pretty cool little storyline easter egg, as long with the uh, side easter egg where you get these yellow snowballs. I'll let the gameplay run out and show how OP these snowballs are. Um, but yeah, I'm out, and uh, thanks for watching the video. Peace.